What's in that building? We'll have to go look at that. <gasps> oh, shit! Oh, my God, that scared me. Oh, no. Not good, not good, not good. Oh, he's, he's getting me. Welcome back, everybody. Seven days to die. We got a running horde coming through. <clears throat> Just came through, like, right when it got up on the roof. So we're just going to be really quiet. We want them to go on by. <clears throat> because if they, if they stop here, they could tear this whole house down. Uh, coming after us. So it looks like they're kind of heading over that direction. Okay. Um, yeah, so we made it back to the house without incident. Except for this incident that just now happened. Um... I'm gonna see if we can do what we need to do here without without uh, getting their attention too much. Um, okay, so let's see. What are we doing here? Let's put that away. We're going to keep the honey with us at all times from now on. We'll put that away. I have two duct tapes here. Let's put the egg away. Um, so I want to I wanna repair... We should probably maybe try and repair this one because it's going to have a little more durability. Uh, so its max durability is 36, whereas this one is only 19, yeah. So let's get that one repaired. <clears throat> we need to uh, probably repair... I'd like to repair our axe and our pick too, but we only have enough... Uh, wait a minute, no, we've got glue, right? Yeah, we got two glues. Okay, so let's make some duct tape. Um, whoops. Alright, so, and I have two more, so that should, oh man, look at all the zombies down there, that's not good. Um, they're right in the direction we need to go to, of course, naturally, right? Uh, alright, so now, let's make the repair kits. We make four of those. Ooh, that takes a little while, doesn't it? Okay. So let's put that back away while we're waiting. Uh, <clears throat> I made a few more barbed wire fences too on the way back here. Let's keep the forged iron in here. We don't need to keep that in our inventory. And uh, let's go ahead and eat a bacon and eggs. And let's drink a tea. I've got some tea here too. And then now we have seven glass jars that we can fill up later. Um, should we take those with us now? Yeah, just in case we run into some water out in the out in the tulies. Let's keep that with us. Um, I don't think you know what we don't really need to be carrying a bedroll around with us as long as we're staying in this general vicinity. So let's get rid of that, and what we could do instead is we could put the beer on our toolbar, so that way, if we need it in an emergency, we can take it. All right, so, now, I'm just going to do one at a time. I don't want to burn all of my repair kits, so let's see what we can, if we can repair this whole thing with one kit. Yes, perfect, okay. So, then that means we probably can repair this with one, I'm guessing, mm -hmm. and then let's repair this, that one down there, and I think we're going to, I'm going to hang on to this kit, I'm going to hang on to that, oh, there was one thing I wanted to look at, didn't I get, I might be confusing this with the, the multiplayer, yeah, yeah, I guess I am. I thought I got, uh, I thought I had gotten a, um, you know, one of the grip mods. Let's put that down there. But uh, I was probably just looking at the spring, and my brain was telling me that it was the grip mod because it kind of looks like the grip mod. Because you can actually mod these, you know, these brown tools now. It does have one slot where, whereas it used to not do that, which is pretty cool. All right, I think, I think we're ready to go. The problem is that uh, <laughs> we're kind of pinned down right now. With all these guys. Um, 
So let's see. Let's make some more wood frames. You know, know knowing now how fast they are, I don't want to just jump down and have them start chasing me. Cause... But we got to go that direction. Yeah, we got to go that direction to do the, the dig quest. Oh, uh, you know what I should do, actually? Let's take this with us because if I get unlucky and end up having to dig a huge hole, we might run out of um, durability on that and want to repair it again. Okay, well, it seems to be clear that direction, so I think what we're going to do is we're just going to bonsai off that way. Okay, so let's do a bit of a wide arc here, and then we'll go uh, go get that buried treasure. Uh, we are really running out of time, so we may not uh, we may not actually be able to turn it in tonight. But uh, the buried treasure, you know, usually that you do for the trader usually gives you some pretty decent food and uh, maybe some meds too. But we, I'm expecting to get food out of it for sure. And then uh, we'll probably end up having to turn it in tomorrow morning when the trader reopens. Time just got away from us, but, you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. Oh, man, I hope this damn thing's out in the mountains. I did, uh, like, two of these on the multiplayer game. And they were both, like, on a mountainside. It's a pain in the ass. There's a Nurse Nancy over there. She's generally pretty damn fast. Like, scary fast. There's supposed to be there's supposed to be more water. That looks a little bit weird on the map, like it's not fully rendered or something, I don't know. No, I think it's a that's just sort of kind of topographical, I guess. Anyway, um yeah, there's supposed to be more water now in the game. And I did I did see more water on the multiplayer server. But uh, they're they're like small little ponds though. They're not like big huge bodies of water. As big of a pain in the butt as they were, I do kind of miss the the big gigantic lakes that we had in uh, Alpha 16 and earlier versions of this game. All right, we got another. We got more buildings over here, you guys. Is this like another town? Like. Yes, it would be. Interesting. We're going to have to investigate that. Because, I mean, this town is close enough to the trader, too, that, to where if we found a better place over here, we could, we could base over here. One building I thought about maybe trying out was the... Uh, Crawler over there, and then we got a Tourette's guy over there. Uh, why do we have two treasures? Huh, it's like it stayed on the map even though we canceled it. That's weird. Uh, what was I saying? I, I, I was saying that, um, the apartment building, you know, the old style apartment building, which we have in our town, is not a half bad place to base on. I've actually used that as a base before in the past. Yeah, we got like a whole another town over here. Interesting. Okay. Well, this guy is damn near almost right where we need to go. I hate fighting him just because he spazzes out so much. But, I mean, we either fight him or we... <clears throat> Wait till he goes away. <laughs> Rather not. This is relatively flat ground. We're not going to be able to see. Oh, I heard footsteps over there. We don't want to have to take on two of them is the thing. All right. Well, I guess this guy's not going to give us much choice, is he? Well, all right. If he keeps going that way. 
Because we need to go this way. I think there's a crawler over here, too. Yeah, there he is. Um, yeah, let's take him out. Cause that's that's easy money. I am so looking forward to the time when we can get the wooden bow. <laughs> a lot better than this thing. Not really getting any good headshots off on him. There we go. Yeah, Ed Edgar is not worth killing. What did that take? Five, six arrows and we got 400 and some odd XP. Edgar is 750 and it takes like 25 arrows. Not worth it, man. Not worth it at all. So we're pretty much going to be running away from from Edgar. I don't want any of that stuff. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if we can get lined up on our on our treasure here. And um, okay, so that's the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, right about here. Um, let's, we don't need the axe in our tool. All right. Okay, so Tourette's is over. He's fair, fair distance away, but he's still walking towards us. We got Skater Punk over that direction. So we're just going to have to really be on our guard, and hopefully we'll luck out and find this quickly and not, like, buried really deep. Because as soon as we do find it, then we've got to we got to skedaddle. We're gonna get rushed. But we we are gonna have to go down at least too deep, though. Well, that's typically you only you only have to go down that far usually. He's slowly wandering his way over here. Okay. Oh, we're getting clay too, so that's good. Okay, now let's dig this way a little bit. All right, guys. So, um, I hear footsteps. So I found the cache. It's right here. Um, the moonlight... Well, <clears throat> I, can, I think the moonlight's been out for a little while, but I've been digging in the dark for probably the last, I don't know, five, six, seven minutes. I'm almost pitch dark. So I probably un actually uncovered this earlier than I... before I realized it. And then I... Because I, I kept kind of going to the sides, and then all of a sudden I heard something metal, metallic clunk on my foot, and I looked down, and there it is. Uh, but it wasn't a waste of time because we got XP and we got quite a bit of clay too, so we'll put that to use later. The thing is, though, is, man, <clears throat> I don't know if I want to pop this in the dark. Um, because, you know, we, we'll probably be able to get away from the zombies that spawn in, but we could run right into a feral in the dark, you know, trying to get away from them. So, yeah. Risky and nerve-wracking as hell, man. I tell you what, <clears throat> it's a uh, it's a little bit unsettling being down in a in a dark hole in this game on nightmare settings <laughs> and digging in pitch black when you hear footsteps all around you. Um, so what to do? I mean, should we just should we should we try and do it? Just grab it and run like hell. Tell you what, let's pop out here. Don't really want to jump. See, there's zombies out that way. There's a zombie right there. There's one out there. So, yeah, see, the thing is, is, man, I, I don't know. 
I don't know which direction we would run without running into another one. <clears throat> and these guys could be ferals too. So I think what we're going to do is... Um, we could go... We could go investigate this town and then come back in the daylight and grab this and go. I think that's what we should do. I think that's what we should do. So let's go ahead and repair this since it's pretty well almost completely damaged. Um, and then we're just going to put that in our inventory. We don't need it for now. Let's put, let's put the axe, I guess, on our toolbar. Um, how are we doing for food and water? Water's a little low, food's pretty good. Let's take one of these. All right. Yeah, let's go ahead and investigate this town. <clears throat> uh, it's pretty bright out right now. So it looks like the recording's not too terribly bad. So yeah, let's go check it out. We'll come back here uh, in the daylight, and grab that, and then run. So I think it would be absolutely foolhardy for me to try and do that right now. If I knew I had a clear path, you know, I would do it, but I don't know that. And, uh, like I said, these zombies, these nighttime zombies, uh, can be feral for sure. Whoops. Alright. Let's just keep on cranking out arrows. Uh, I don't think we really actually need to carry that around. That's an Egger. I'm not too worried about him, but I also don't want to waste <clears throat> my ammunition on his fat ass either. I, You know, the next time we get into it with a Z, though, I'm going to try and... I'm going to try and hit him in the legs this time. And, uh, you know, see if we can take him out that way, because... I mean, headshots obviously do more damage, but it's a lot harder to hit them in the head when they're running at you really fast and bobbing left and right, first of all. And secondly, you know, if we do take their legs out, then they are absolutely no, not a threat anymore. They're easy money at that point. So we're, we're definitely going to be keep, you know, keep putting points into perception. Or is it perception? No, it's agility. Into agility so we can increase our chance of being able to, to do that. So the power station here is is not a half bad building. It's a little bit on the smallish side, um, and definitely could be taken down by you know if enough zombies were attacking it. But it is a stout building. I've done actual horde knights on it before, but not an Alpha 18. So that's a consideration. Do we have any water yet? No, not that I'm seeing. All right, so we got pink shirt guy over there. Half his brains spilling out of his skull. Lovely. <clears throat> I know that one of the quest rewards that the trader gives is a uh, is a wooden bow. So man, if we could get a hold of one of those, that'd be phantasmagorical. Probably loot that without getting his attention. It's nice and bright out at the moment. Now you know we'll we'll eventually have some kind of a light source, and um, you know I'll be able to eventually. Um, hold my own, you know, if I do get attacked at night. So, you know, some of these earlier videos might be a little bit darker, but I mean, you guys, you know, let me know what you guys think in the comments, okay? Because I know there's there's two ways to look at this, right? Obviously, a dark video is no fun for anybody to watch. I get that for sure. Um, but on the other hand, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's part of this experience and it's scary as hell. And, uh, you know, so some of you probably actually might want to, you know, stay with me as I'm doing stuff out at night, even though you can't really see very well, just so you kind of share the experience, so to speak. 
So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about that. And uh, I'd just be curious to see what y'all think. What y'all think? Kind of start getting a little yellow out here for some reason. That's weird. Whenever you see the environment change color in <clears throat> one of my other all-time favorite survival games, Imperial Galactic Survival, it usually means there's like a radiation storm or some something like that coming in. Um, and it's never good, of course. At least not in the early game. Okay, so we got another waterworks. So we got more water. That's good to know. Get a nice little supply of arrows built up. All right, I think we can stand up and walk around because I don't see any Zeke's anywhere. Since we're at this waterworks, we might as well fill up our jars. I'm a little surprised that we haven't found a body of wadi, wadi, water somewhere yet. What's that building? We'll have to go look at that. <gasps> oh, shit! Oh, my God, that scared me. Oh, no. Not good, not good, not good. Oh, he's he's getting me. Um. Okay, here. Take this. No, not that. Take this. Oh. The hair is standing up on the back of my neck. Oh. I think we're going to die, you guys. I can't I can't get it ahead of him. He's too fast. Oh my god. Okay, okay, what do we do? What do we do? Let's um We've gotta try and get him hung up. Oh, not good. Oh yeah, I hate you, dog. <laughs> that scared me so bad. Okay, let's take a beer. I mean, I don't know if that's really gonna help us. I just I can't get a I can't get ahead of him. He's too fast. Okay, quick, 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 quick. Oh, did we, did we get away from him? Oh! Oh! That scared the living daylights out of me, you guys. Holy Moses. Okay, we're infected, obviously. Um, I can't believe we survived that. Okay, fun pimps. When you when you say nightmare, you <laughs> I believe you now. <laughs> I believe you. It wasn't nightmare in, in Alpha 17. It is nightmare in Alpha 18. Oh my god, that's scary. We're gonna have to rethink our strategy, you guys, about being out at night. We really are. Did <clears throat> so what the hell happened to that dog? Did he die on our spikes? I could not he, he was faster than me. I was running full bore away from him on a road and he was still biting me in the ass. Oh, that is just frightening as all get out. <sighs> man, I, I, my, <laughs> my poor heart. Oh man, I'm, I, I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm, I'm curious to see <laughs> the look on my face when I go and edit this video because I know <laughs> it just crapped my pants, you guys. Not really, but you know what I mean. Oh shit. Scary. This game is scary. It's like making me have nightmares. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. All right. We survived. I can't believe it, but we did. <laughs> and it's the spikes once again that saved our ass. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> you know, in, in, in earlier versions of the game, even with the faster zombies, you could get far enough ahead of them, you know, to turn around and lay down like a little wall of spikes. But you can't get away from these guys. I think I just heard a wolf howl or something. You just cannot get away from these son of a bitches. Oh man, that was scary. Okay, so um, now that my blood pressure has started to go back down. <laughs> okay, we either have a wolf or a dog somewhere close by because I can hear him. Oh, and there's a deer too. We should try and kill that deer and get the meat. Okay, it's a wolf and he's right over there. Oh, man.
Okay, so the last time we harvested a doe with a fire axe, and we got 13, I think we got 13 pieces of meat, if I remember right. That was like two or three episodes ago. Let's see if we get more with the, the bone knife. Twenty pieces. Okay. So, I mean, I don't know how much of that's random, but I think the difference between 20, 13 and 20 is significant. So, I would say definitely the bone knife is better for harvesting. I don't think it was that way in Alpha 17. I think the axe got as much meat for you as the knife did. So, in the <clears throat> latter part of... Oh, shit, I don't want to aggro that nurse. <clears throat> in the latter part of uh, 17, I threw the knife away and just used the axe to harvest meat. But it doesn't appear to be that way now. Whew, okay. Man. No word of lie, you guys. This game is freaking scary now. On these settings. Oh, are these potatoes? They are. Okay. Um, Let's grab these. Let's grab these. So... I mean, you know, we will eventually plant the garden, so. <sighs> okay. Um, so we were going to go to the waterworks and get um, get some water, but, man, I don't know now. Because the dog was around there. Let's go to the north and kind of see what's going on over up in here. Excuse me. It's uh, almost 3 o'clock in the morning, so we've got one hour of nighttime left. Um, I was going to say something. I can't remember what it was now. Okay, there's a Zeke walking around in the oil company. So we've got like a military place there. I don't see the I don't see the landmines here. Is this a different different deal? You know, I don't, I don't actually yeah, there's one right there. I don't relish the thought of messing with soldier zombies. Oh no, there's landmines. <laughs> they're right there. I guess they're just not on this path. Interesting that they have a path now. Hmm. Yeah, let's not be messing with soldier zombies. That's no bueno. No bueno at all. All right. Is that a zombie over there or? I have to tell you guys, man, I have not, uh, this game has not scared me that bad in a long, long time. Um, it is, it is truly nightmarish on these, on nightmare settings. And the thing is, is I think, don't call me on this, but I think maybe, well, I guess I don't know. Um. I was going to say, uh, uh, the default settings... Hey, that's a shotgun messiah factory. Nice. I think the default settings may actually have the zombies on nightmare speed at night. Maybe. I don't know. I, it's hard for me to say for sure because, you know, I just always have my mindset to that anyway. But, so if you guys are playing this game on normal settings and you do have nighttime zombies on nightmare, then... You better think twice before you go out at night. I'm starting to think maybe <laughs> maybe I'm not going to be out at night so much after all anyways. I mean, I didn't even see that dog. I absolutely did not see him. I pretty much stepped on the damn thing's tail even though he doesn't have one because he's a Doberman. Oh, man, that scared me, though, so bad. Okay. Enough enough of how bad that scared me because you, <laughs> you guys saw how bad it scared me. Whew, okay. So, Shaka Messiah Factory, wow. That place, 
that place is really, really hard to do. On insane. Really hard to do. Um, towards the end of my my vanilla Alpha 17 season, I I did that. It took me like three episodes to get through it, and I was you know I was decked out in like end game gear. And boy, I'll tell you what, that was a hell of a fight. It was fun, though. It was really fun. In fact, you know what? I think, if I remember right, I think there's some loot we can get at fairly easily in there. Uh, hmm. All right, guys. Well, we're, we're like pretty much damn near out of time here, so... What I'm going to do is I think I'm going to hit these cars here. And then when the sun comes up, I'm going to see if I can find that area that I think is easy to get to for some loot. And then we will go pick up the uh, the cache and hopefully survive that encounter because we're going to get ganked and then go from there. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope, <laughs> I, hope I, I provided pretty decent entertainment for you guys. Oh, man. I I was truly honest to God scared, uh, you know, startled scared. What and now I'm like, now I'm kind of like scary scared because just <laughs> this game is like freaking me out, you know, with the, you know, with how fast these guys are. Oh my God, it's terrible. Um. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, and um, leave a comment and share out the video. All those things help the channel. We really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode. We're going to just pick up right where we left off here, okay? All right, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.